neighbor and say, neighbor. Uh-uh. Find another neighbor and say, neighbor. I don't know what you come to do, but I come to give him praise. Find another neighbor and say, neighbor. I don't know what you come to do, but I come to give him glory. I've come to lift my hands. I've come to open up my mouth and give him what's due. So tell your neighbor, if you don't want to praise him, you can watch me praise him. Hallelujah. Come on, go ahead and open up your mouth and give him glory one more time. Come on, put those hands together like this. Come on, everybody clap those hands right here. Everybody clap those hands, go! I don't know what you come to do, let me hear you say. I don't know what you come to do. Oh, I don't know what you come to do, let me hear you say. I don't know what you come to do. Oh, but I know what I come to do. Let me hear you say. But I know what I come to do. Oh, but I know what I come to do. Let me hear you say. But I come on, take it out. Know what I come to do. Oh, I come to clap my hands. Huh. Yeah, I come to clap my hands. The victory. victory. Oh, oh, oh. Everybody clap those hands. Everybody, everybody clap those hands. Come on, one more time from the top. Oh, say, I don't know what you come to do. Let me hear you say, I don't know what you come to do. Oh, I don't know what you come to do. Let me hear you say, I don't. Tell your neighbor, but I know what I come to do. Let me hear you say, but I know what I come to do. Oh, but I know what I come to do. Let me hear you say, I come on, let's take it out. Know what I come to do. Well, I come to clap my hands. Come on, you ought to clap your hands. And I come to do my dance. My dance. Come to stomp my feet, my feet. Oh. Cause I got the victory. victory.
Watch me praise. Watch me praise. If you don't wanna clap, if you don't wanna clap, watch me clap. Watch me clap. If you don't wanna clap, if you don't wanna clap, watch me clap. Watch me clap. I said watch me, 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 watch me. for being here on today. Amen. I'm thankful I made it. Hallelujah. I made it. Amen. I made it. Ah, yes, Lord. Hallelujah. He's worthy. He's worthy. Ha. I could truly say, ha, yea, God. I give God all glory and honor and praise on today. I lost my scripture, y'all. I had it. Oh, I'm trying to find it. Amen. But I got it. Amen. <laughs> oh. Amen. Truly, I thank God for my pastor. Come on, put your hands together for him. Come on, Pastor Corey Salisbury. My bishop. That's my bishop, y'all. I'm excited to see what God is getting ready to do. How about you? Amen. I thank God for my lovely first lady. Come on. Hallelujah, put your hands together for our first lady and our overseer. Ha! Woo! Yes, Lord, I thank God for my husband being here with us on today. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I'm going to miss y'all. Woo, I'm going to miss y'all. I'm going to miss y'all. And I'm going to tell you, I'm an online person to a certain extent. I, sometimes I like to be in the house. Amen. So I'll still be up there sometime, but I'm going to be, I got to be in the house sometime. I got to be in this presence. Amen. We thank God for all the ministers, the praise and worship, and all the musicians. Listen, I'm going to read a couple of scriptures. If it had not been for the Lord on my side, now may Israel say, if it had not been for the Lord who was on my side, hmm, when men rose up against us, Amen. Then they had swallowed us up quick when their wrath was kindled against us. And truly, I can say today, if it had not been for the Lord on my side, I don't know where I would be, but I give God glory. I give him honor and I give him praise. Amen. Yes, let's go to our daily confession. My, my body is a temple of the Holy Spirit redeemed, cleansed, sanctified by the blood of Jesus. My members, the parts of my body, are instruments of righteousness. Yield to God for his services and his glory. The devil has no place in me, no power over me, no unsettled claims against me. All has been settled by the blood of Jesus. I overcome Satan by the blood of the Lamb and the words of my testimony. I love not my life unto death, my body is for the Lord, and the Lord is for my body. Amen. Come on, put your hands together for the daily confession. Most gracious Father, Lord, we thank you, God. Lord, for bringing us here one more time. Father, we ask, God, we already feel your presence, oh God. Father, that we can go higher and higher and higher on this day. Father, we thank you for what you're getting ready to do in this season, how you're going to bless your people. God, how miracles are getting ready to come, oh God. 
Lord, we're in this season of miracles, oh God. And Father, we ask God now, God, that you will move, oh God. Oh God, move on the people, oh God, on their hearts and their minds, oh God. In the name of Jesus, have your way in this place, oh God. Father, bless, oh God, those that are on their way, oh God. God, let them feel your presence as they enter the door. Father, we thank and praise you. Oh God, we glorify your name, God, because you're worthy, you're worthy, you're worthy. Oh God, the devil has no place here. Oh God, we bind up everything and every spirit. Oh God, that's not like you today. Oh God, we give you glory, God, because you're worthy. Oh God, of all praise and honor. We thank him. Come on, put your hands together for the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, don't stop praising him. Come on, don't stop praising him. Come on, we serve a great God. We are declaring that he is worthy. Come on, this morning he is mighty and we declare that we serve a mighty God. Amen. Do I have a witness in the house? Do I have a witness in the house that we serve a mighty God? Come on, let's do some interaction. Turn to your neighbor and say, neighbor, I serve a mighty God. Oh, turn to another neighbor and say, neighbor, I serve a mighty God. Hallelujah. Come on, everybody, put your hands together all over the room. Come on. Come on, this morning we came to declare that we serve a mighty God this morning. Oh. Lord, you're mighty. 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 Come on. Lord, you're mighty. 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 Oh, Lord, how excellent is your name in all the earth. You set your glory above the heavens and the earth. Oh, when I think of all you made, the sun, the moon, and the stars, Woo. no praise is high enough to express how great you are. What a mighty God we serve. Come on, sing it out. Sing mighty God. Sing angel, they bow. Come on, y'all. What a mighty God. Hey, come on, sing it out. What a mighty. Come on, raise it up like a big choir. Mighty God. Heaven and earth. The mighty God. Come on, let's come into agreement. Hey. Lord, sing Lord, you're mighty. Lord, you're mighty. Sing Lord, you're mighty. Lord, Come on, pump your fist. Lord, you're mighty. Lord, you're mighty. Lord, you're mighty. Lord, you're hey, mighty. Lord, you're mighty. Lord, you're mighty. Oh, Lord, you're mighty. Lord, you're mighty. Lord, you're mighty. Lord, you're hey, mighty. Lord, you're mighty. One more time. Sing Lord, you're mighty. 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 Hey. Lord, you're mighty. Lord, you're mighty. Sing, Lord, you're mighty. 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 Come on, say, Oh Lord. Oh Lord, how is your name? Is your name in all the earth? Come on, say, You said your glory.
Lord you're mighty. 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 Come on, declare it. Lord you're mighty. Lord you're mighty. Yes, Lord you're mighty. Lord you're mighty. You're mighty to heal. Lord you're mighty. You're mighty to save. Lord you're mighty. You're mighty to free. Come on, take it up. Sing, Lord you're mighty. Lord you're mighty. Sing how great, how great is our God. 
God. Come on, can we break the music? Sing it out. Sing all the name above all names. Say, you're the name. you believe that you serve a great God, then your great God deserves a great praise. Come on, we just declare that he's mighty. Come on, we just declare that he's mighty. Come on, people of God, I don't feel you this morning. We just declared that he is mighty. We believe this morning that God is great. He is great. Amen. Hallelujah. We serve a great God this morning. 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 Do I have a witness in the house? We serve, all right, I serve a great God because I don't know about you and the God that you serve, but I know about the God that has kept me. I know about the God that has healed me. I know about the God that has regulated my mind. I know about the God that has brought peace to my storm. So I serve a great God and a great God deserves my great A great God deserves my great praise. And if that's all he requires of me, I might as well give it to him. After all that he's done for me, I might as well give it to him. I don't care what you have to say because I know what God has done for me. So if you want to sit down, that's fine. If you want to stand there, that's fine. But as for my hands, they go up. And as for my feet, they start to move. And as for my mouth, it shall bless the Lord. Because his praises shall continually be in my mouth. Because I serve a mighty God. The song says, what a mighty God we serve. Because angels, they bow before him. Heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty God. What a mighty God. What a wonderful God. What a magnificent God. What a strong hope breaking God. What a delivering God that I serve this morning. I'm not here to pump and prime, but I'm here to tell you what kind of God we serve this morning. If you need a reminder, here it is. Here's a miracle. You're looking at a miracle. You're looking at an answered prayer this morning. You're looking at an answer prayer this morning. You're looking at a delivering girl, God. You're looking at her. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. That's all right. That's all right. That's cute for me. But my, oh, my God deserves a great praise. My God deserves a great praise. This week hasn't been the best, but let me tell you, he's kept me. He's kept me. And by the grace of God, I'm standing here. By the grace of God, I'm standing here. The enemy tried to trick my mind, but God gets all the glory. 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 I'm sorry, y'all, this wasn't planned, but I gotta give God some praise because I can't come in here another Sunday and pump and prime anymore because God deserves more than that. He deserves more than that after everything he's done for us. The house, the car, the job, the money. I just gotta say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. My hands go up, my knees bow, and I reference you, Jesus. Thank you, 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 You want 
Jesus, 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 watch in the name, Jesus, watch in the name, Jesus, 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 come on and lift him, lift him, 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 say hi, 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 Gonna lift him high, gonna lift him high, gonna lift him high, gonna lift him high. Gonna lift him high. He said if I he lift it up, I will draw on them to me. Come on and lift him, come on and lift him, come on and lift him, lift him. Tell somebody I've got no other choice. Tell somebody I've got no other choice. After all he's done for me, I've got to praise him. I've got to lift him. I've got to magnify him. I've got to exalt him. Come on, I'll give you 30 more seconds. Oh. Oh, my child. Yes. Oh, yeah. Come on, we taking it out right here. Last time, come on. Say, oh, you don't have to stay in the shape that you're in. Say, come on, Minister Tony, let's do these announcements. Say, oh, you don't have to stay in the shape that you're in. Say, the part of one. One more time, tell somebody. Say, oh, you don't. In the shape, the part of one. One more back. time, finish it back to somebody. Say, say, oh, you don't have to say. In the shape, the shape that you're in. The part of one to put you back together. Say, it's getting ready to happen. All right. Come on, Minister Toya. It's getting ready to happen. Tell somebody, I have not seen. Ears have not heard. Hey, it's getting ready. It's ready to happen. Yeah. It's getting ready to happen. It's ready to happen. Yeah, 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 yeah. Say, it's getting ready to happen.
remember to share today's broadcast, reminding your social media family to join in. Our regularly scheduled service announcements are as follows. Sunday afternoon worship, 12 p.m. Prayer begins at 11.30. The ECC daycare will be open at 11.15 a.m. First time guest reception immediately after service. WNPR every Wednesday night at 7 p.m. However, this week there will be no WNPR. Empowerment Christian Church announcements for October 23rd. This is October and it is Clergy Appreciation Month. We appreciate all of our ministry leaders here at ECC and want to take the time to say thank you. So when you see someone in ministry leadership this month, be sure to thank them for their service. October 17th will be our overseer's 70th birthday. Woo! Happy birthday early. We are asking all members to set aside a $70 birthday seed offering to present to her on October 15th, as we want to honor this great woman of God. I don't think y'all really understand how great of a woman of God she is. On October 18th, Overseer and Elder Curtis will be celebrating their 47th wedding anniversary. Praise the Lord. ECC's annual community clothing giveaway, October 21st, 2023, will take place tentatively at the Keefe's Community Center, 11 Pine Street, Hamden, Connecticut. We're asking all those interested in assisting to see or make contact with Sister Tracy as soon as possible. Sister Tracy, can you raise your hand for those that don't know who you are? We will have more information this week as to the time or location change should it be necessary. ECC daycare needs donations and supplies, white snacks, tissue, etc. Please see Sister Takara, Takara if you'd like to make um, a donation. ECC's music department is proud to announce that there are now openings for our praise team and choir. If you are interested in lifting your voice, please see our musical director, Brother Aaron Michelle, today to find out when the next rehearsal is. ECC is looking for volunteers to assist with the cleaning and upkeep of our house. There is a sign-up sheet on the announcement board. Just add your name to the sheet and someone will be in contact with you to set up our cleaning rotation. For those that don't know, when we were at our previous building, I used to go and clean the whole entire church before service came on Sunday. Pastor and Lady Sherry has been taking on that task. Um, I don't believe that is a task that they should be taking on. They already do enough for the house. They bless us tremendously. So it is not too much to take one Saturday or Sunday out of the month to come in and help. Soon as I get this boot off, I'm gonna be back cleaning <laughs> in here. So please, we're just asking to help out just a little bit more and take off some of the weight that First Lady and um, Pastor already are carrying. Amen. Looking ahead, ECC's game night and Thanksgiving drive, November 1st, 2023, at 6.30 p.m., we're asking all members to join in with the fun, food, and fellowship while helping us with our Thanksgiving drive by sewing $5 or bringing two non-perishable food items. For more information, please see Sister Tracy. Remember to pray for those who you don't see, and let's all remember to pray for peace in Israel. We want to wish happy birthday and happy anniversary wishes to those that are celebrating in the month of October. These are your announcements, ECC. Let's get ready to do things big in 2023. Blessed assurance. Jesus is mine. Oh, what a foretaste of glory divine. I'm an heir of salvation, purchase of God, born of his spirit. 
and I'm washed in his blood. Just look at a neighbor and say, this is my story. You didn't look at nobody. Tell another neighbor, this is my song. We're dedicating this to overseer, praising my Savior. I'm going to praise him. I'm going to praise him. I'm going to praise him all the day long. This is my story. This is my song. Praising my Savior all the day long. Yes. Is there a yes in the house? Yes. Come on, sing it. Yes to your will, yes to your way. Yes, Lord, we will obey. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Yes. Come on. Yes. Everybody. Yes. Yes. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes. Come on, get it in your spirit. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Have your way. Have your way. Come on. Have your way. Have your way. Hey. In me, Lord. Come on, how many know you want to do it in you? In me, Lord. In me, in me. Now come on, somebody praise him. Somebody magnify him. Y'all sitting too cute for me this afternoon. He's done so much for you. He woke you up this morning. He started you on your way. He gave you the activity of your limbs. He gave you a right mind. I will bless the Lord. I will bless the Lord. I will bless the Lord. Hey, in good times I'll bless him. In bad times I'll bless him. In happy times, I'll bless him. In sad times, I'll bless him. I will bless him at all times. And his praises shall continually be in my mouth. Somebody praise him. Hey, 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 hey. Hallelujah. Oh, God. All right. Amen. We got to move on this afternoon. Amen. But pastor, this is better than Hennessy. This is better than Ciroc. This is better than weed. You ask me, how do I know? The Bible says, oh, taste and see. I ain't got no witnesses in here. Oh, taste and see that the Lord, he is good. That's how I know everything else compared to God is not good. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. We're moving this afternoon. Amen. But this is a house of praise. Amen. And praise is comely for the upright. Amen. So we just come today to give God praise. Hallelujah. I'm here to, can we just clap our hands for our pastor, our leader? Come on, you can do better than that. Chief Apostle. God bless you. Hey, man, we thank God for our first lady. Hey, man, we thank God for our overseer. We're happy to have her back into the building. Amen. We thank God for Pastor Stacy for being with us. Happy to have her back into the building. Amen. And just look at your neighbor and say, I thank God for you. Amen. I thank God for you. Amen. We thank God for Sister Paula for being with us. Come on, y'all. You can stand to your feet. Let her know that she is loved. She is missed. Amen. Amen. What could have took her out, God blocked it. And he gave her life. And life more abundantly. I said he gave her life. And life more abundantly. She might can't dance, but she got her hands. And pastor, if I couldn't say a word, if I couldn't move my feet, my hands will go up. My mouth will be open. Giving God a praise. Hallelujah. So we thank God for life this afternoon. We thank God for life this afternoon. Because he turned it. Look at your neighbor say, he turned it, he turned it, he turned it. And if he turned it for her, he could turn it for me. If he turned it for her, I know he can turn it for me. All right. Amen. Amen. Get your tithe and your offerings ready. Hallelujah. Amen. We praise God for you, Sister Paula. We praise God for you. Sister Karima, do me a favor. Could you just go back there and dance with her for about 30 seconds? Somebody, I need somebody to help her. Just for about 30 seconds, and we got to take the offering. Well, if you ain't going to dance, clap your hands at least. Thank God for life. Hallelujah. Thank God. Amen. You're getting your tithes and your offerings. Amen. I'm maxing about 25 of you to help me with the $25 seed this afternoon. Amen. And once you have your $25 seed, I'm asking that you just stand and let me know that you're standing with me with the 25. Thank you, Overseer. Amen. With the $25 seed. Thank you, Pastor Stacy. Amen. Thank you, Minister Carla. Amen. A $25 seed. Amen. Thank you. I see you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I see you. I see you. Thank you. Thank you, Pastor. Amen. Thank you, Sister Keisha. Amen. Thank you, Sister Dell. Amen. 25. Thank you, Brother Corey. Deacon Corey. Amen. 25. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you seven benefits of giving while you're getting that offering. Amen. One is giving is evidence of our obedience to God. Giving sets up our priorities straight. Giving increases our faith. Giving acknowledges that God owns it all. Giving leads to joy. 
giving blesses us abundantly and giving makes us more compassionate and involved in God's work. Amen. So giving has its benefits. Amen. And the Bible says that if you give, you shall be given, it shall be given back unto you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, running over. Men shall give unto your bosom. Amen. So giving is a principle. Y'all not saying nothing. Giving is a principle. Amen. You give out. You put out and you get it right back. Amen. Amen. So I'm asking those of you who don't have $25, amen, to just get whatever you have. Amen. And everyone let's stand as we do our declaration. With whatever you have, you have your ties, you have whatever you have, you have the closest thing to 25, 2499. Amen. Sooner or later, Pastor, we're really gonna find a way to take food stamps. I'm telling you. We're gonna find a way. Amen. If the world could do it, we could do it too. Amen. We're gonna find a way to take some EBT. Hallelujah. So everyone, please stand with whatever you have. <laughs> with whatever you have. Amen. We're putting our, even if you don't have nothing, amen. Everyone, please stand. Amen. If you don't have anything. Amen. We're putting our gifts in our right hand because the right hand represents. Say it one more time. Amen. So we putting our offerings and love gifts in our right hand. Amen. Amen. Repeat after me. Today I present my tithe and offerings and love gifts. This is my first and my best. As we give today's offerings, we believe that we receive jobs, raises and bonuses, benefits, sales and commissions, settlements and estates, interest and income, rebates and returns, Checks in the mail, lost money found, bills paid off, mortgages, car loans, student loans, all paid off, debts demolished, royalties received, all of my needs are met. We receive the grace to walk in overflow and fulfillment. We expect more out of heaven than ever before. I receive my harvest now by faith in Jesus' name, amen. Amen. We're starting from the rear. tells us that man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. And surely, I said surely, surely our pastor hears straight from God. Amen. I would just want to say, Pastor, amen. You are a man of God. You are a man of God, and God speaks to you. And I thank God for our friendship. Amen. I thank God for our, amen, relationship over the years. Amen. There's nobody, amen, like Pastor Corey. I said, there's nobody like Pastor Corey. Amen. And one thing, amen, that some of y'all don't know is that, you know, when Pastor is upset, I hear about it. Me and Lady Sherry. 
pastors is frustrated we hear about it. Amen. But that's what happens when you walk side by side with the man of God. Amen. But I thank God for you. ECC thanks God for you. Amen. The world thanks God for you. Amen. You're international now. <laughs> Amen. And you're worldwide. So we thank God for you. Amen. We don't take you for granted. Amen. But we just thank God. We don't, we don't praise you, but we thank God for you. Amen. I just want to get that straight. Amen. We don't praise him. We don't put him on a pedestal. Amen. But we thank God for him. Amen. So let's, when he, when he preaches, amen, let's get with him. Amen. Let's push him. Amen. And let's just go with him. Amen. Amen. So let us all stand and let us receive, amen, the shepherd of this house, no other than Pastor Corey Salisbury. Amen. Amen. The Lord bless you. Take your seats for just a moment. Amen. We will stand back up to read the scripture in just a second. I want to acknowledge, amen, those that are here. We thank God for our overseer being back with us. Amen. We thank God for her. Amen. She wasn't feeling well the last few weeks. And uh, last Sunday, as she started, amen, preparing to come to service, she said, I'm going to go and get uh, tested. Amen. It ended up uh, testing positive for COVID. Amen. I'm going to need some batteries. <laughs> the, uh, she tested positive for COVID. Amen. But we understand. Amen. Thank God for, amen, healing. Amen. We thank God for bringing her through. Amen. Because ain't nothing like having COVID. Amen. But we thank God for bringing her through. We thank God for our deacon, Corey. Come on, clap your hands and thank God for him. Last Sunday night, uh, he was working and was having some breathing issues. And uh, they had to rush him to the hospital. And uh, the diagnosis or the prognosis helped me was a collapsed lung. Yeah. That was last Sunday night. But he was in here praising this morning. Don't tell me what praise can't do. Hey! I said, don't tell me what praise can't do. not been for the Lord who was on his side that the enemy of his soul would have swallowed him up and today we could be celebrating his life in memoriam but today we're celebrating life with him somebody lift your hands and shout I thank God for life don't take life for granted because you never know when God is going to allow you to breathe your last breath Amen. Whether expected or unexpected, just look at somebody and just tell them, say, I thank God for life. I thank God for life. And we thank God, amen, for our pastor, Stacy, amen, and our deacon. Thank you. And our deacon, Matt Jones. Come on, thank God for them. Amen. They are, amen. Come on, you can come at this time. I want, I want you to be seen. Come on. Amen. They've been with us. Amen. For quite some time now, since 2019, amen, she started coming uh, to the church while we were in the middle of the pandemic, I believe, just before the pandemic, amen, and she decided to stay through the pandemic, amen, and it was in this time that she said, uh, I, I passed, I live in Waterbury, but this is the house that I need to be in right now. There was a time and a season needed for both healing and restoration, because of things that had transpired before they walked through the doors. Amen. And Pastor Stacy, Deacon Matt, I appreciate you both. And I thank God for you when I uh, talked to you this week. Amen. You didn't realize that we were already preparing for this. We, me and Overseer just had a conversation the week prior saying that you were getting ready to leave. And in leaving, hear me, in leaving, this is not a sad goodbye because she's not going anywhere. Are you hearing what I'm saying? We've been prophesying this, amen, for the last, amen, two and a half years, I believe. And so it just so happens that the reason she's going down is because she has to take care of family, amen? Amen, look at somebody say, take care of family. Take care of, family. Take care of yourself and take care of family. 
Amen. And she's going to continue a work, amen, with her mom, amen, to help her, amen, to aid her in better health. Amen. And then there's going to be some things set up for her. Amen. amen. There's going to be some things set up for Deacon Mac as they begin to walk, amen, in the fullness of what God has for her. Amen. Has for him and has for this family. And I don't know about anybody else, but I thank God for them. I thank God for them because they've shown themselves to be faithful. Amen. Traveling, amen, down the road from Waterbury. Amen, I'm putting your, your address out there, but I ain't going to give you exact address. Amen, y'all moving anyway, so you ain't got to worry about it. Amen, but they travel, amen, Sunday after Sunday. Amen, rain, snow, sleep. Amen, and the type of job Pastor Stacy works, she's driving all over the state of Connecticut all day anyway. Amen. And so she'd be here for Sunday service. They'd be here for Wednesday night prayer revival. They would be here for ministers meetings. Amen. And all of the above. When we needed something done in the church. Amen. When we needed some things done because of an outreach effort that was happening. One people, a group of people that we could always depend on was Pastor Stacy and Deacon Mac Jones. To show up, to ask questions, to figure out how to make things work. Amen. Even on, amen, her exodus of this state, if you will, she's still trying to formulate and put together the giveaway in two weeks. And they're leaving the state on Friday. And she said, Pastor, I'm just waiting for the call back so that we can make sure that everything is all set up. Because this is what you do when you're a part of a house and when you're connected and when you are covenant. Just look at somebody and say, are you covenant? somebody else on the other say are you covenant and so pastor stacy deacon mac we got something for you guys and come on uh, who's that sister angie i can't see because of the light and malaysia and brother noah amen we got you a little going away amen the, i think one of the flowers was for malaysia brother mac so you can just take it in proxy all right we're gonna give him that in proxy all right amen and we got something else for him it's in the bag this right here, that's from Malaysia. All right, I want it. All right, Brother Mac, you hold on to that. All right, you can sit down and look at it when you get in here because we just want to want you to know how much we love you, how much we appreciate you, and we can't wait to visit ECC North Carolina. <laughs> South Carolina, y'all, I'm gonna get it right. Florence, South Carolina, that's where we have our family reunions. We love y'all. Come on, y'all, stand up and give a great hand of praise. We thank God for them. Come on, come on. Come on, that's it. That's it. We thank God for them. We thank God for them. Truly, truly. Pastor Stacy was always there. I think when we were all sick, Pastor Stacy cooked a whole meal for the whole house. She had ziti and baked chicken and rice, and she said, no, I'm just going to make sure my pastor in this house is taken care of. You can't find folks like that. Not until, so you can find them. You got to search all over. <laughs> just to find them, Pastor Stacy, Deacon Mac, we love y'all, and we're going to see y'all in South Carolina. Come on, clap your hands, and thank God for them. All right, come on, stand to your feet. I only got a few minutes. Grab your Bibles. I'm going to uh, try to, uh, Brother Elijah, I'm going to try to, uh, I'm going to try to, to cut this a little short, uh, but I'm going to do the best. The Lord gave me a word uh, for the people of God, so I'm going to do what I need to do tonight. Somebody say tonight on uh, the ECC worship team or the Sanctuary Singers, as I like to call them, we'll be celebrating with Pastor Tina Mori or her 60th birthday. Amen. And she's holding a concert, amen, tonight at uh, New Testament, I believe. Uh huh? Christian Tabernacle on Newhall Street. Amen. Christian Tabernacle on Newhall Street. So if you are available, amen, the service begins at 6 o'clock. It's a whole bunch of folks. Amen. I believe they were asking for people to register, but I'm certain if you show up, they probably won't turn you away. Amen. But the praise team will be ministering tonight. Amen. And we just want to be a blessing to the woman of God. Amen. Amen. Go with me very quickly to the gospel according to Mark. There in the sixth chapter, very familiar passage of scripture. Under normal circumstances, I would read a lengthy portion. 
But today I'm going to only read just two passages of scripture. While you're finding Mark the sixth chapter, we want to remind you that our first lady, amen, is a guest presenter on more than more more than makeup women's conference. Amen. This is taking place on October 27th and 28th. She is a part of day one. Amen. A platform of women. Amen. Discussing that you are more than your makeup. I need another lady to look at another lady and just tell them, say, you are more than your makeup. Amen. And this is with our friends. Amen. Uh, somebody help me. I don't see her name. Prophetess Caraway. Amen. Amen. Monique Caraway. Amen. Is hosting this event. Amen. It is with our friends, Pastor Monique Caraway. Now I get it right. Amen. But she is a wonderful woman of God, and she has en enlisted our first lady. Amen. So we want you to, amen, you have to register. Amen. You do have to register. So, amen, the link, amen, will be posted on Realm. Amen. And I believe we can post it online as well if it's not already there. Amen. It's October the 27th at 6 p.m. I'm going to say 6. That's what it says on the flyer. 6 p.m. Amen. At 392 Legion Avenue in New Haven. And this is with our friends, hosted by our friends, um, Rim City or the Apostle Denarian Gordon and Pastor Ebony Gordon. Did we not have a time with them last? A time with Jesus. My God. And it's only like when Rim City and ECC get together that the power got to go out. Every time. Every time. And so if you want to see the whole service, go to Facebook. Amen. But only the second portion of service was able to be uploaded to our YouTube channel. Amen. We thank God. Can we just clap our hands and thank God for the Gordons? Amen. True friends and true prophets. Amen. We thank God for them. All right. You should have the gospel according to Mark the 6th chapter and the 31st. Uh, we'll do 31 and 32. Mark 6, 31 and 32. And it says to us this afternoon, And he said unto them, Come ye yourselves apart into a desert place and rest a while. For there were many coming and going, and they had no leisure so much as to eat. The 32nd verse says, and they departed into a desert place by ship privately. I'm going to read it one more time. The 31st verse says, and he said unto them, come ye yourselves apart into a desert place and rest a while. For there were many coming and going, and they had no leisure so much as to eat. And they departed into a desert place by ship privately. I want to preach to you for the next few moments in time a miracle in the desert. Just look over at your neighbor and say, neighbor, he's about to give you a miracle in the desert. If you believe it, shout, thank God. Hey! Glory to God. Take your seats in the presence of the Lord. He's going to give me a miracle in the desert. In the other Gospels that show this same story, there are some things that Mark does not talk about. Uh, for instance, he doesn't talk about the young man who had the two fish and the five loaves of bread. Secondly, when Jesus had blessed and broke the bread, he divided it amongst the disciples, and it was the disciples' job to divide it amongst the people. And this is what I want to discuss this afternoon. When God gives a miracle in the desert place, it is very important that you and I understand that any time that there is a calling on your life or God has set you aside for ministry's sake, that nine times out of ten, it's going to be hard to understand what God allows you to go through and experience that many times it's not really for you. He, he, many times what God allows you to go through, whether it be various situations and circumstances and, and scenarios, that they're really not just for you, but for someone else who he's going to allow you to minister to. 
And that's one of the most difficult things of walking with God and, and becoming a disciple of God or becoming uh, disciplined in God is that you're not just a follower of God, but you are now, somebody shout, a disciple. So now when we look at these passages of scripture from that perspective, we need to understand that when you do this, when you become a disciple, when you are disciplined or, or taught by God, you need to understand that a lot of times it will call for you to sacrifice more than you will ever receive. And I think that this is part of what uh, is missing or is wrong with today's church is that we come with the mindset of receiving more than what we actually give. The mindset of receiving is, is so much greater than the mindset of giving that, that many of you don't even take the time to share the word that we receive on an every Sunday basis. And I assure you this afternoon that the word that's imparted into you is not only a word for you, but it's for the people that are around you. For the people that are outside of these four walls, I need you to tell somebody that I'm getting something that I may get something or that I may give something rather. And that's the whole premise of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Not that you come here to feed, but that you come here to take what you have to feed others. And that's today's church mentality where uh, we, we go through so much, Sister Tracy. We go through life and we go through the troubles and the struggles of life till we, we, we become just selfish. We become selfish. And I, and I understand because, Brother, Brother Elijah, I get in that place where, where I just get so bogged down with, as Jakes would say, the vicissitudes of life. That when I come into the house of God, if I'm not the one preaching, I, I begin to declare the words, Lord, I need a word. Lord, 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 I, I need a word. It's, it's for me, it's for myself, and it's for I. But when you look at it from that perspective, you must understand that it's Jesus who sends the disciples out to minister. And the Bible says that they come back to share with Jesus all the things that had taken place. And what has happened is that uh, uh, what they have uh, been taught or what they have been teaching, uh, they've been teaching basically what that he has shared with them. And so they're coming back to provide a report or to tell Jesus that all that they have done uh, to make sure that what, we're, what they're doing uh, is everything that the master has taught them and doing it, somebody say, the right way. They, they don't take it as just them going out and being able to preach and teach any way they felt like it, but they had to come back to let him know and to be assured that what they were doing was the right thing and being done the right way. Because you need to understand, my brothers and sisters, that there has to be some sort and form of accountability to make sure that things are being done the right way. To make sure that you and I are doing things the right way. This is why if you're going to be in the ministry, I don't care how powerful your ministry is, you need a pastor. You tell somebody, say, you need a pastor. You need a pastor to be able to, number one, to cover you. Somebody say, I need covering. And you need a pastor to make sure you're doing things, somebody shout it, the right way. You need to make sure you have somebody that's going to be able to let you know that, that you are doing things the right way. And so the Bible says that they are explaining to Jesus everything that had transpired within their ministries. And that is uh, the Lord who says after they begin to explain all of these things, it is Jesus who tells them to come and follow me to a desert place that you might receive what? Rest. He says, follow me to a desert place that you might receive rest. Now, one thing I need you to understand is that this is a strange place to go to receive rest. He tells them to come to a desert place, to a dry, to a desolate place to receive rest. Isn't it funny that God sends us to strange places, places that contradict what you need and what you're looking for? It's in this moment that they're looking after toiling with ministry. 
ministry, ministering to other people, amen, they're looking for not only, amen, to be assured that they were doing things the right way, but they're looking for a place where they are able to find rest. And they come to Jesus, they come to the Christ, and he says, follow me to the desert that you might be able to find rest. What do you do when God is the one that's leading you to the dry place? What is it that you do and what happens to us when God is leading us or leading you to a place that lacks? What happens when God is, is, is leading you to a dead place? I need, I need somebody in here to understand that when God calls you to ministry, many times he will cause you to go into the places that you don't necessarily desire to go to. He will call you to, to minister in the places that will challenge your very being and and that's what's wrong with the church is because uh, we don't realize that the call of God is not by convenience, but it is rather by inconvenience. Whenever God calls you, you've got to expect, amen, inconvenience. Tell somebody, say, it's not convenient. It's not convenient, but this must be true because uh, many of us that are in this house this afternoon find ourselves uh, in an inconvenient place. Uh, we're living in an inconvenient area. We're in an inconvenient place uh, that things that he's calling me to are contradicting the things that I need. I need rest, uh, but he's calling me to a desert place. Is there anybody in this house that has ever felt like God is calling you to a strange place, uh, a place where you've been confused? a place where you've lacked a, a place where you lacked understanding and resources uh, but I dare you to touch somebody and just say I know you might be in a strange place uh, but rest assured Jesus is right there with you mm, Jesus is right there with you so now now my brothers and sisters we must understand that the premise of this is not based on where he is leading me uh, but rather that as long as he's leading me uh, that he is right there all the time I don't mind him leading me my brothers and sisters to a strange place uh, if when I go to the strange place I can see him uh, or I can feel him being there with me uh, so now my salvation or my walk with God uh, is not about where I am or where I go uh, or where he leads me but the question is uh, when I get there will he be there with me uh, that's why the scripture declares to us lo I will never leave you nor will I forsake you but I will be right there with you always even until the ends of the earth and that's why I can lead you into those strange places because I will be right there with you how many of you have come to church and still feel like uh, even being in the house of God with your brothers and sisters going up in praise, going up in worship, still feel as if you were in a strange place in your life uh, and you can't find anybody to support you or anybody to help pat you on the back. Even though you might be in a house with praisers and a house with worshipers, sometimes you feel like you're all alone in a place all by yourself. Uh, you're in a strange place. You're in a place huh, where you're in a place of lack and you're all by yourself huh? and I want to tell you that you would have never been led there huh, had he not proven to be with you always huh? the reason why you weren't able to give up is because he was there huh? the reason why you weren't able to throw in the towel is because he was there huh? the reason why you weren't able to quit is because he was there I need somebody to just open up your mouth huh, and shout I'm not by myself huh? because as long as Jesus Jesus is right there. I don't mind suffering a little while. I don't mind crying a little while. I don't mind being burdened a little while because Jesus is right there with me and he won't let me go. He won't let me go. And so the next point I want to make my brothers and my sisters that it is possible for Jesus to be there and for you to still experience lack. It is possible for God to be right with you the entire time, Sister Dell, and you still experience sickness. It's still possible for God to be with you the entire time and for things arise in your life that are not according to what a life in Christ should be like according 
to you and I. Uh, but what you need to understand uh, is that it's not what you go through, uh, but it's who you go through it with. Uh, if you go through it and you have Jesus touch somebody uh, and tell them you will overcome it. Uh, that's why we've been saying since the beginning of the year, it's important for you, my brothers and sisters, to have some faith-filled friends. Uh, because you can't, if you can't pray me through my struggle, uh, if you can't pray me through my issue, uh, then I don't need to be surrounded with you. I just need you to do a seat check uh, and just ask your neighbor, will you be a faith-filled friend? Uh, can I depend on you when I'm crying? Can I depend on you when I'm sad? Uh, or do you only want to be there in my ups? Uh, are you only going to be there when congratulations and approval are all around me? Will you be there when folks are turning their backs on me? Uh, and when what they say about me is true, uh, can you be there to help me uh, and to lift me up? Uh, uh, it's not about what you're going through my brothers and sisters uh, but it is about who you're going through it with uh, uh, that's why we've got to understand that even if it is a strange season uh, we've got to have no doubt my brothers and sisters uh, that Jesus is with us every step of the way just put your na hand in the hand of your neighbor uh, and say he's with us every step of the way uh, and here it is the problem in our text uh, is that Jesus leads the disciples uh, into a desert place uh, to get some rest uh, but there are many people who have come at this time uh, to understand the full ministry of Jesus uh, they had seen the miracles performed and have come to a place that they did, didn't want to miss the next move of God uh, so these people my God uh, they were even willing to follow Jesus into a desert place uh, and the Bible says that these people left their places of substance uh, they left their own cities and they followed Jesus Sister Tracy uh, they followed Jesus into the desert place uh, so the question yet remains for you and I uh, and that question is how far are you willing to follow him uh, how far are you willing to follow Jesus uh, how far are you willing to follow Christ uh, are you willing to give up all your earthly possessions uh -huh. just to do the will of the father uh -huh. because the truth of the matter is some of us are so tied to the materialistic thing uh -huh. we're so tied down to what it is uh, that we can hold in our hands uh -huh. to the point where if we can't hold it in our hand uh -huh, then we aren't able to muster up a praise of thanksgiving uh -huh. that says if I didn't have what I have uh -huh, that I would still praise him uh -huh. is there anybody in this house uh, that can make the declaration that says uh, I don't have to have it in my hand uh, but I still praise him uh, I don't have to walk in overflow and abundance uh, but I'll praise the God of overflow and abundance uh, I don't have to walk in healing and overflow uh, oh, but I'll praise the God of healing and overflow uh, realizing that as long as I praise God uh, he has a way of giving you that peace uh, that passes all understanding uh, that will have folks looking at you like you crazy uh, because they can see what you're going through uh, but what I'm going through doesn't matter to me uh, because my mind is stayed on him I will lift up my eyes uh, unto the hills from when all my help comes from uh, knowing that my help comes from the Lord uh, I need a praise to lift up your hands open up your mouth uh, and shout hallelujah in this place uh -huh. and so here it is uh -huh. are you willing to follow him uh -huh. if it means that you will lose everything that you have uh -huh. and the truth of the matter is my brothers and my sisters uh -huh. is that I do believe sadly uh -huh. that some of us would walk away uh -huh. walk with him rather uh -huh. as long as we can understand him uh -huh. but as soon as things start to get strange uh -huh. as soon as things start to get weary uh, in our lives then we began to back out uh, and that's the problem with some in the church uh, because you want to follow God as long uh, as things are convenient for you uh, but when you understand the power of the word uh, you will follow the word wherever the word is uh, 
even if it's in a desert place. Look over at your neighbor and say, neighbor, you've got to follow the word. You've got to, you've got to follow. I'm almost done here. You've got to follow the word. And the Bible declares, the Bible declares that they go into the desert place. And here it is, that the problem arises. The Bible declares that there are over 5,000 men, women, and children. One theologian believes that there could have been over 20,000 people in total. And they are sitting to hear the word of the Lord. Isn't it wonderful to know that his word is so powerful that they're willing to leave everything and follow the word because they understand and Jesus said it clearly that man shall not live by bread alone but by every somebody say every every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God uh -huh. oh look over at your neighbor cause I can hear Bishop Moody say uh -huh, that I am a word out of God's mouth uh -huh. look over at your neighbor and say neighbor uh -huh, you are a word out of God's mouth uh -huh. cause the truth of the matter is I would have lost my mind uh -huh, had he not opened up his mouth uh -huh. cancer would have killed some of y'all uh -huh, had he not opened up his mouth uh -huh. AIDS would have infected you uh, had he not opened up his mouth uh, oh but I thank God uh, that I'm living on his word uh, if it wasn't for his word uh, I would have gone crazy uh, if it wasn't for his word uh, I would have forfeited my destiny uh, oh but I thank God uh, for his word uh, and his word uh, is keeping me alive I need a praiser uh, open up your mouth uh, and shout thank God for his word. Uh -huh. Oh, come on, church. Uh -huh. Open your mouth uh -huh. and say, Thank God for his word. Thank God for his word. Uh -huh. I may not have the money, but I have his word. Uh -huh. I may not have the house right now, but I have his word. Uh -huh. I may not be driving in the car or living on the land, uh -huh. but I have his word. Uh -huh. If everything that I don't have, uh -huh, I don't have to worry about what I don't have, Elder Hicks. Uh -huh. Because if I focus on the one thing that I do have, uh -huh, is his word of God. Uh -huh. And because God has spoken a word over my life, uh -huh, I can declare like the Bible says uh, that there is no weapon uh, that's formed against me uh, that shall be able to prosper. Uh, I need a praiser to open your mouth uh, and say thank God for the way. Uh, and here it is. Uh, here it is as I try to close. Uh, they knew the importance of having the word. Uh, and they followed him into the desert place. Uh, and while in the desert place, uh, a problem arises. Uh, all they have uh, is two fish uh, and five loaves of bread. Uh, and the first thing I need you to notice as I bring this uh, to a shown of clothes. Uh, is that they run to Jesus and they tell Jesus and Jesus we have all these people here and they're growing hungry uh -huh. we have all these people here uh -huh. and we need to feed them uh -huh. oh, we have all these people here uh -huh. what are we going to do God uh -huh. to keep these people happy uh -huh. they have followed your ministry uh -huh. and now they're in a place of lack uh -huh. they followed your ministry uh -huh. and now they're in a place where there's not what they need uh -huh. they followed your ministry uh -huh. Uh -huh. They've been doing all that you told them to do. Uh -huh. And now here they are in this place. Uh -huh. And they don't have uh -huh. what it is that they should have in this place. Uh -huh. What is it that we're going to do uh -huh. in this moment? Uh -huh. Because the truth of the matter is, my brothers and sisters, uh -huh. is that you can follow God uh -huh. and still experience lack in your life. Uh -huh. You can follow God uh -huh. and still experience uh, the normal storms of life uh, it's after following Jesus uh, that they now began uh, to experience lack uh, we have nothing to feed them uh, and Jesus says to them uh, give them to eat uh, and their response is Lord uh, should we go out and 
buy uh, 200 denarii worth uh, of food to feed them. Uh, and he says, no, you don't have to do it. Uh, but what I need you to do uh, and to understand in this season uh, of your life uh, is that you don't have to outsource them uh, for this situation. Uh, in other words, uh, he's asking you to tell him uh, what you're working with. Uh, I've come to tell somebody in this house uh, that you don't have to look uh, for the outside for your answer. Uh, you don't have to look uh, at the outside for your help. Uh, but I've come to let somebody know uh, that it's somewhere uh, around your problem uh, that God is getting ready uh, to provide your answer. Uh, look over at your neighbor uh, and say neighbor. Uh, tell him, say, my helper uh, is somewhere around it. Uh, my helper uh, is somewhere around my situation. Uh, my helper uh, is somewhere around my problem. Uh, my helper uh, is somewhere around my circumstances. Uh, is there anybody in here uh, that can testify uh, and said, when I went to the outside, uh, I couldn't find the answer uh, that I was looking for her. Well, I'm glad you came here to this house today because the Lord told me to tell you that the help you're looking for is not coming from the outside but the help you're looking for is coming from within. Now I'm to him who is able to do exceedingly uh, and abundantly uh, far above uh, all that you can ask uh, or think uh, but it's according to uh, the power uh, that worketh uh, on the inside of you uh, give your neighbor uh, a high five uh, and say neighbor uh, he already put uh, the answer uh, on the inside of you uh, before you ever showed up uh, to the problem, uh, he placed the answer uh, on the inside of you uh, before the foundation uh, of the world uh, was formed. Uh, he put the answer uh, on the inside of you. Uh, grab your neighbor uh, by the hand uh, and say, neighbor, I'm here to tell you uh, that the answer uh, you've been looking for it's on the inside now put your hand on yourself and say the answer is in my belly and that's what they're talking they're trying to stop you because the devil himself realizes that there is a power on the inside of you that you have yet to tap into there is a power on the inside of you that you have yet uh, to tap into. Uh, I wish uh, I had somebody uh, in this house uh, to realize uh, that there is uh, an answer uh, on the inside of you uh, for whatever uh, you're going through. Uh, God has gave you, uh, he gave you the power uh, to deliver uh, your own self. Uh, he's given you uh, innovative uh, ideas uh, to become uh, a creative uh, to pull your uh, self up out uh, of the situation uh, he's given you the power uh, to declare uh, that you shall live uh, and not die uh, I need uh, a praiser uh, to lift up uh, your hand uh, Open up uh, your mouth uh, and shout the answer uh, that I've been waiting for. Uh, it's already uh, on the inside uh, of me. Uh, say yes. Uh, yes, Lord. Uh, and so here it is now uh, that the Bible declares uh, that he tells the disciples uh, to go and find it. Uh, he tells them now uh, to go and find it. Uh, it's there. All you need to do is open up your eyes so that you might be able to see what it is already around it. You've got to search. He says in the scripture, 
ask uh, and you shall receive uh, seek uh, and you shall find uh, knock uh, and the door shall uh, be open unto you uh, but some of us uh, are under the unction uh, just like them uh, that we're never uh, going to get up uh, and find the source uh, you can't even sit uh, in your seat uh, of do nothing uh, and expect uh, for God to do uh, what you've been asking uh, lean over uh, on your neighbor uh, and say neighbor uh, now uh, is the time uh, for you to get up uh, from your seat uh, get up uh, from that place uh, of do nothing uh, you can't sit uh, in the seat of complacency. Uh, you can't sit uh, in the place of dormancy. Uh, you can't sit uh, in the sorrowful place. Uh, you can't sit uh, in the pit. Uh, you can't stay uh, in the valley. Uh, but now, now, now uh, is the time uh, for you to get up uh, and grab hold of uh, to what it is uh, for God uh, to do it uh, your life uh, grab your neighbor the uh, grab your neighbor uh, grab your neighbor the uh, grab your neighbor the uh, grab your neighbor by the hand uh, and say neighbor uh, I don't know about you uh, but I refuse uh, to sit in uh, this desert place uh, any longer uh, and not see uh, the hand of God uh, move on my uh, behalf. Uh, I hate, uh, I hate, uh, I have a mind to say uh, that all, all, uh, all I have needed uh, his hand, uh, his hand, uh, his hand uh, has provided a uh, great is his faithfulness. Uh, Great is his faithfulness, uh -huh. great is his faithfulness, uh -huh. great is his faithfulness, uh -huh. grab, uh -huh. grab, uh -huh. grab your neighbor uh -huh. by the hand uh -huh. and say, oh neighbor, uh -huh. time now uh -huh. for me to make uh -huh. some changes, uh -huh. I cried about it uh -huh. too long, uh -huh. I suffered uh -huh. a long time uh -huh. now. Now, 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 my crying days uh, have to come uh, to an end. Uh, grab that neighbor, grab that neighbor, grab, grab, uh, grab that neighbor uh, by the hand uh, and say, neighbor, uh, you suffered uh, a long time. Uh, in a place uh, of isolation, uh, you suffered uh, a long time. Uh, in a place uh, of desolation, uh, but say, neighbor, neighbor, oh neighbor, uh, I prophesy uh, that God, uh, He's getting ready. Uh, God, uh, He's getting ready. Uh, God. Uh, He's getting ready uh, to give you uh, a miracle, yeah, a miracle uh, in your desert. Uh, you talking to the wrong neighbor. Uh, get out your seat. Uh, go find uh, somebody else uh, that look like uh, they're tired uh, of going through uh, the motions. Uh, why y'all not moving? Uh, get up out your seat. Uh, Go find somebody uh, that look like uh, uh, they came uh, uh, to hear a word uh, uh, from the Lord uh, uh, and say, neighbor, 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 uh, neighbor, neighbor, uh, you suffered uh, uh, long enough, uh, uh, you cried uh, uh, long enough, uh, uh, but God, he's getting ready. Uh, God, he's getting ready to give you a miracle in your desert. Eyes have not seen, 
years have not paid a leader as it is paid to the heart of man the great thing the great thing I need you to find one more witness get out your seat go find somebody and say neighbor Neighbor, neighbor, you suffered long enough. You cried long enough. Ask your neighbor, say, neighbor, have you ever walked the floor all night long wondering how you were going to pay your bills? But a still small voice said be strong uh, because the struggle uh, is just his will uh, grab that neighbor i feel like prophesying now uh, grab that neighbor uh, and say neighbor uh, say you're next in line for a miracle come on tell somebody say you're next in line for a miracle for a breakthrough come on you ain't got the right neighbor go grab a neighbor somebody that's waiting for it somebody that's ready for it somebody that's anticipating and say neighbor say your next in line for a miracle for a breakthrough come on grab that neighbor grab that neighbor and prophesy to them and just tell them neighbor say the wait is over come on they ain't ready find somebody else and tell them say the wait is over come on tell them say today is your day find another neighbor find another neighbor because breakthrough is about to happen and tell them say today is your day we got to do this one more time prophesy to the atmosphere tell somebody say today is your day What is he about to do? He's about to give me a miracle. Hey, a miracle, a miracle, a miracle, a miracle, a miracle, a miracle in the desert, a miracle through my tears, a miracle through my suffering. I need somebody to open your mouth and shout. Oh, come on. He said, I'm going to give you a miracle. Stop trying to outsource it. Stop trying to look for somebody else to give you what I've already given you. I need to pray them to open your mouth. Yes. Grab somebody. Grab somebody by the head and say, don't worry about where you are right now because you're in the right place. You're in the right place at the right time to receive, to receive all you need. I need somebody that's in expectation. Just open your mouth right here and start thinking for what he's done. Oh, come on. This praise is setting you up. I said this praise, oh my Shanda Bahaya, is setting you up. I know you've been in a dry place, but it won't be dry for too much longer. 
I know you've been in a lonely place, but you won't be lonely too much longer. Somebody open your mouth. Everyone standing. We moving. My last point. My last point is you have to understand the process of manifestation. Somebody say the process of manifestation. The Bible says when they brought him the two fish and the five loaves of bread. The Bible says after he had given thanks, he did what? He, he broke it. And then he had given thanks. And then it was in the process. Somebody say the process. Of the breaking and the giving thanks that manifestation occurred. From two fish and five loaves of bread, he was able to feed anybody that has a Bible with Notations above it, it says Jesus feeds the multitude. How can you feed? How? Let's just say it was just 5,000. How can you feed 5,000 with just two fish and five loaves of bread? It's because the manifestation only comes after the breaking. <laughs> manifestation in your life can only occur. After God has broken you. It didn't say he it didn't say society came and broke them. It didn't say it didn't say that that the situation was so heavy, Deacon Corey, that it just broke them. It says it says Jesus broke it. So some things in our life can only occur after the breaking. Because it's in the middle of the breaking, watch this, that we don't lose our praise and we don't lose focus. After breaking it, he gave. See, when we, when we lose track and when we lose focus, is that when we get broken, we go into hiding. When we get broken, you know, anybody that's dealt with depression and, and don't let it rain on that day. Because you ain't getting out of the bed. Because there's something on the inside of you that's been broken. But you forgot how to praise God even in your brokenness. Look at somebody and say, can you pray? I know you can praise him when things are good and well. I know you can praise him while you're whole. But can you praise him in your broken places? And here it is because what we do and what we have a tendency to do is when we, even when we come to church on Sunday, we give God everything that's right about us. We give, we come, ladies, we come, our faces beat to the heavens. We, we, we dressed to the T. And so we present and we cover up everything that's messed up about us. And when we present to God, we present to him what we want everyone to see. Meanwhile, God is looking at you saying, okay, but this ain't everything that I require. I want what's broken in you. Because the fact of the matter, Sister Paula, when we come to church and we shout, we even worship a little bit, but then we go home messed up. And whatever the situation was that we came in with, we leave here carrying that same burden. But tell somebody, say, not today. I refuse to leave this house and go back home and live in defeat again. He said, it's after the breaking that manifestation can truly come. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to lift your hands all over this house. And I want, I want you to be so serious with this. And I, I wanted to preach this last Sunday. And I told God, I told y'all what I told God. I ain't going to say it again. 
I said, Lord, if you let me preach this message, I'm going to leave it all. Because that's what we need to learn to do. We need to learn how to come to the altar and just leave it. Don't pick it back up. Don't walk out those doors and go back to that same lifestyle that you came in. Lying, gossiping, cheating. All of that. Tell them, just look at somebody and say all of that. If, if you're going to offer it up, be sincere all by offering it up and don't take it back. So just look at somebody and say, I'm looking at you. And it's the only time I'm going to say this to you. Tell them, say, this is the only time I'm going to say it to you. If you're going to leave it there, don't take it back. Lift your hands. And what we're going to do, because it's Jesus that does the breaking. We can stop blaming the devil for this one. The devil is just wreaking havoc in my life. God said, no, stop giving the devil credit for what I'm doing and for what I'm orchestrating. What we're going to do is we're going to offer up sincere praise and sincere worship that thanks God for the breaking. Because if God is breaking you, that means he's about to create something beautiful out of your life. When I count to three, I don't want you to worry about nobody else because some of us are really worshiping out of broken places. We're really worshiping out of broken experiences. But I heard the Lord say that by the time you leave this house, you're leaving healed and made whole. Come on, one, two, three. Let's go up in thanks. We thank him for the breaking. Come on, we thank him for the breaking. Oh, come on, church. Come on, this is out of your belly. Oh, God. come on. Lift him a sound. Father, we thank you. We didn't like it, but we realized. We realized that you were in the process of building us into a better place building us into a better building us to better hey building us to better break us 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 jesus break us jesus Break us to hey, yada hey, rekanda baho, yekana na na niyoshaya. Come on, come on. There is a breaking. Hey, yekana mandi niyoshaya. Ho, 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 ho. Yada ba 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 sha. Hey, come on, come on, come on. Yekana na niyoshaya. Yada na 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 na. Yes, except the Lord do it. Except the Lord do it. Except the Lord do it. Except the Lord do it uh 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 Except the Lord do it Except the Lord do it uh Except the Lord do it uh Rekanaya Rekatabashaya Yanamandioshaya Do it now God 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 do it now, God. Uh, yes, uh, except the breaking. Uh, except the breaking. Uh, except the breaking. Uh, except the breaking. Uh, yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah. Yes, Lord. Uh, so say yeah. 
So say yes. Hey, Lakanda Bahaya. Come on, go deeper. Yes, go deeper. Lakanya. We accept your will. We accept your will. We accept your will. We, hey, 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 hey. Come on, there it is. 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 Oh. Hi, yeah, yeah, yeah. The Kanda Bohoshaya. The Kanda Nanamandi Oshaya. Oh, oh. The Kata Tata Tata. Oh, God. Come on, break, break, break. 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 Come on, church. Yeah. Yes. Come on, there's another level. There's another level. There's another. There's another level. Come on, church. I break it off you now. I break it off you now. I break it off. Oh, oh. I break it off you now. New level. New level. New level. New level. New level. I break it off. The spirit of stagnation. I break it off. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. Come forth, daughter. Come forth, daughter. Come forth, daughter. Yes. 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 Ho, ho, ho. New levels. New levels. New levels. New levels, new level. Come on, church. Shit. Yes. Come here, Sister Brenda. Yet Oh God. Lay hands on her head. For new level. Hey, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, don't be afraid of the new level that God is putting you in. Don't be afraid of the new place, new territory. Yes, he said I'm with you. 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 And I'm releasing you uh, into this place. Uh, I'm releasing you uh, into a place uh, called access. Uh, granted, uh, don't despise uh, the breaking. Uh, don't despise uh, the breaking. Uh, don't despise uh, the breaking. Uh, come on, church. Yeah. Let there be a cry out. Let there be a crying out. Let there be a crying out. Let there be a crying out. Let there be a travail. Come on, Zion. Come on, Zion. Put on your strength. Come on, Zion. Put on your strength. Come on, Zion. Put on your strength. Zion. He's calling you to a higher place. To a higher place, to a higher place. Yeah, yeah. Oh, God. Come on, lift your hands up because there's a wave of glory about to hit this house. Come on, church. Lift your hands. Open up your mouth and thank him for the breaking. 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 Thank you for the breaking. Thank you for the... Oh, 
yes. Come on, church. Let a man be your shire. He cannot have a man be your shire. Oh, we thank you now. Oh, we thank you now. We thank you, 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 we thank you. Come on, there's a weight of glory here. 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 There's a weight of glory. Yes, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, we accept the breaking, we accept the breaking. Randa da bahaya, lekoto mo hosaya, yekana man mi di hosaya. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, we thank you now. We thank you now. We thank you now. We thank you now. Come on, church. Hey, 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 hey. Understand, Josiah, if you can accept the breaking, the manifestation of whatever it is that God has predestined on your life becomes immediate. Somebody just snap your finger and say, just like that. So I'm, I'm ready to, Brother Aaron, I'm ready to to praise him for a little while, but hear me, because there's a couple of things that I'll mention, and I'll mention it in a minute, but tell somebody, say, this isn't for everybody. This is only for those that can accept the breaking. Did you hear what I said? Brother Corey, we, ain't, we don't like it, but God doesn't ask us what, he, what we like. He calls us and commands us to accept his will. See, Jesus said, not my will. He, Jesus was in the garden, Britt. He said, if it be your will, take this cup from me. And did God say, all right, I got you. It's enough. God said, no, you are on your way to fulfilling your ultimate purpose. The assignment over your life is more than what you are able to handle. I tell somebody, say, I can handle it. Tell somebody one more time because you need to encourage them and say, if you're dealing with something that seems greater than you right now, I promise you, you can handle it. But it only comes when you're able, Sister D, to accept the breaking. Let me let me ask you this question. Let me ask you this question. How many are truly waiting on God to do something in their lives? I don't care what that something is. I, I've been we've been and we've been waiting and we, brother Elijah, we've been shouting all year. This is the year of what big blessing after blessing, increase everywhere and groundbreaking growth, but it. It seems like every time we get ready to walk into something, you know, what do we say? That enemy just keeps. But what if I were to tell you that it's not the enemy doing this? 
that it's part of God's plan and, the, and assignment on your life to make sure you're worthy of your next level. And just ask somebody, say, are you worthy of your next level? Are you? Let, let, me, let, me, just, let me just sit back and, and put, take off my pastor hat, put my hat, Corey hat on. You ever see somebody that you know how they live in? And they, and they seem to be doing well, I'll say that. And you, and you look at them and you say, now I know. All right, let me take that hat on and put my pastor hat back on. Just look over at somebody and say, don't worry about those around you because this is for you. Brother Jalen, if you could accept the breaking, then you just need to keep your eyes open because manifestation is on its way. As a matter of fact, thank you, Lord. Manifestation wasn't on its way because he asked them, do we, do we need to go out to the market and buy? And he said, no. What you need, somebody say, is here right now. So here's what we're going to do, and I'm done. Sister Karima already praising. Because he said all things work together for what? The good of them. I love God. Anybody love God in this house? And to those that are called according to his purpose. Listen, I'm going to give you 30 seconds, maybe 60. I say that every week and y'all shout for like an hour. We're going to see how long this goes. I'm going to give you a few minutes to start praising and thanking God for the breaking and for what he's getting ready to do. Come on. Now's your time to go in. to like it, but I do accept it. I said I don't have to like it. Praise an Elder Coleman. I said I don't have to like it. Hey. Hey. Come on, somebody help a praise. Who's that praising in the back? Praise him, Keisha. Because the breaking was necessary. I said the breaking, I said it was necessary. Hey! I said the breaking was necessary.
listen. Here it is. This is for, this is for those that remain. The Bible says, as the scripture closes out, y'all can keep on praising. As the scripture closes out, the Bible says that Sister Imani, when they finished, when it was all said and done, when they finished feeding, somebody say when it was all over, that when the disciples went, they came back to Jesus with 12 baskets. They had 12 baskets full of what seems like it was going to be leftovers. Now this is this is only for those that have sown seed. I heard the Lord say to tell you start dancing now because you're getting ready to get a whole lot more than what you put in. Start dancing right now. If you got seed in the ground Get ready, because what you're getting ready to pull back in is going to be better than what you put out. He said, I'm giving you a miracle. Praise him, Jalen. You better help yourself, sir. Yes! Somebody shout, it's my reaping season. It's my reaping season. They that sown in tears get ready to reap in joy. Oh. So in tears will also reap in joy. They that so in tears will also reap in joy. Hey, they that so in tears will also reap in joy. They that so in tears will also reap in joy. Hey, reap in joy, reap in joy, reap in joy, reap in joy, reap in joy. Reap in joy, 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 they that sow in tears will also reap in joy. They that sow in tears will also reap in joy. They that sow in tears will also reap in joy. They that sow in tears will also reap in joy. Hey, reap in joy, 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 reap in joy. You're gonna reap. You're gonna reap. You're gonna reap. You're gonna reap. Reap in joy, reap in joy, reap in joy, reap in joy, reap, 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 Grab somebody by the hand and just tell them, welcome to your reaping season. Hey, tell somebody, welcome to your reaping season. It only matters to those who've got seed in the ground. Tell somebody, welcome to your reaping season.
Grab her hand. I, uh, I speak as a prophet in God to tell you that this praise that you're getting ready to put in right now is getting ready to take the hold off of your family. There's been a hold, and it seems like, I wish Apostle was here. You make sure she gets this word. That God is releasing her out of this holding pattern. Because what happens is, when you come out of it, it seems like you go right back into it. Well, the Lord told me to tell you to tell her that she has been cleared for landing. And this time when she lands, she's not going to have to worry about the foundation because the foundation is sure. And what the Lord has predestined for that ministry, what the Lord has predestined for her house, and what the Lord has predestined for her children would not fall prey to the plans of the enemy. Lift, lift your hand. The outside hand. There we go. When I count to three, I want you to start dancing in proxy for apostles. And I believe, I believe God that within the next 90 days, somebody say 90 days, Somebody going to be calling me to tell me that you just landed. When I count to three, start dancing like Prophet Mosley would say, like it's already done. One, two, three, start dancing. I need somebody that's not jealous to start praising right with him. He said the holding has come to an end. I speak life into it now. I said I speak life to it right now. I said I speak life to it right now. I said I speak life to it right now. Vision of hope. I said I speak life to it right now. Vision of hope. I speak life to it right now. Vision of hope. I speak life to it right now. Vision of hope. I speak life to you right now. Somebody shall live. I speak strength to you, woman of God. From the crown of your head to the sole of your feet, the vision shall live. Hey, I said the vision shall live. I said the vision shall live. Though it tarry, wait for it. 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 Hey. Go praise him with me. Deacon Corey. We speak healing now. From the crown of his head to the sole of his feet. We speak the pneuma of God. We speak the breath of God to flow in his lungs right now. And we declare over this body we declare over this vessel that you shall live and not die. You shall live and not die. Grab somebody's hand and just tell them live, 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 live. I command you to live. Hey, hey, hey. I command you now. I command you now.
That's it, Sister Dell. I command you now to live. Live through it. Live through it. Live through it, Sil. Live through it. Don't die in it. Live through it. No more surviving, but thriving. I refuse to survive another day, but I'm gonna thrive from here on out. last praise. Tell somebody this is the last dance. Grab somebody by the hand and just tell them, say, the devil made a mistake when he let you walk out of your last trial. He made a mistake when he let me walk away and live. Hey. Tell somebody, I'm still living. I could have died in it, but I'm still living. should have died, but there's still breath in my body, and as long as there's breath in my body, I'll bless the Lord at all times. And his praise shall continually be in my mind. Excuse me while I praise him for life. I said, excuse me. I got to praise him for life. I said, I got to praise him. Because he let me live. Let me live. Yeah. He let me live. Hey, 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 hey. He let me live. He let me live. I'm living. I'm living. And I'm enjoying living life. Come on, there's somebody about to be healed in this presence. Somebody lift your hands and say, Lord, do it for me. Because there's healing in the room. Yes. Oh. somebody I'm living tell somebody I'm living tell somebody I'm living tell somebody I'm living tell somebody I refuse to die but I choose to live I said I choose to live I said I choose to live I said I choose to live depression gotta go because I choose to live doubt gotta go because I choose to live get out of here now Get out of here now. Get out of here. 
of here now. Get out of here now. I'm living. I'm living. I said I'm living. I said I'm living. I said I'm living. I said I'm living. Hey, 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 hey. Oh my, Shonda Bahia. Hey, 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 hey. I said I'm living. The Lord bless you. Ha, 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 ha. I promise you this is it. Grab somebody by the hand one more time. Grab somebody by the hand one more time. And prophesy. And just tell them, make this announcement. And just say, I just received my miracle in the desert. Receive my miracle in the desert. I just received my miracle. Hey, that's it, Sister Coleman. I'm living, Sister Keisha Moore. I'm living. Elder Curtis, I'm living. Pastor Kid Trail, I'm living. Minister Austin, get up and live. Evangelist Crenshaw, get up and live. Lady Libra, get up and live. Sister Melissa, get up and live. Yes! Tell somebody I'm living, I'm living, I'm living. You wanna know what I'm doing? I'm living. You got any questions about where I'm going? Just tell them I'm living. Where will I be on Monday? I'll be living. Where will I be on Tuesday? I'll be living. Where will I be on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday? I'll be living. What are you going to be doing on Saturday? I'll be living. And when you get back in this place on Sunday, you better believe I'm going to be. Hold on a little while longer. He's going to give me a miracle in the desert. Tell somebody he's about to give you a miracle in the desert. Grab a seed offering. We got to leave. Ah, nah. I'm living. Come on, you ain't said it. Tell somebody I'm living. Now let's finish it and say I'm living in the overflow. 
What are you saying, Pastor Corey? I'm saying lack just left your life. I said lack just left your life. Because I'm living in the overflow. Very quickly, I need you to put a seed offering in your hand. Somebody sowing that $500 vow seed. You can place it in my hand. But I need everybody. Who did I say? That's it. I, I said everybody. Who did I say? To find a Nehemiah seed, $52. Somebody say, Pastor, what you talking about? Last Sunday, we took vows of $500, if you're doing that today, put it in my hand. Everybody else, who did I say? Grab a Nehemiah seed of $52. If you don't have it, link up with somebody. Link up with somebody and create the Nehemiah seed. If they got 55 and you got a dollar, well, I just messed it up. If they got 51, and you got a dollar. I'm, I'm trying. I just saw the score of the game, so I'm a little perplexed. Grab the knee of my seed. If you got 50 and your neighbor got two. If you got 26 and they got 26. Link up with someone and get your knee of my seed. Everybody on your row is broke. I'm just joking. You say, Pastor, I don't have it. Put a seed in your hand. We don't, we don't, we don't. Hiya. We don't take atmospheres like this for granted. But this is the time to sow seed and yield an immediate harvest. Somebody just put your hand in the posture of receiving and close your hand and say, I receive. Those of you sewing online, the information is there. Jay, put up the uh, giving up here if you can. that seed we already did our declaration whatever you're sowing I need you to come place it in my hand and come do it quickly come on I release it Joe Joe release it I release it oh we <laughs> I release it. I release it. I release it. Good to see you, Lyresha. Now you know you gotta open that money. Overflow, overflow. She said, Pastor, we went above the Nehemiah seat. I release it. Open it up for me, son. Who are you? I'm talking to you. What's your name? Huh? And where you come from? You come from Connecticut? Who you came here with? Who's your grandmother? Andre. <laughs> she, she, she said, I don't know who his grandmother is. <laughs> and what's your name again? Ry Rylan? Come on, somebody say, thank God for Rylan. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, I release it, I release it, I release it, I release it, I release it now. Somebody shout, I receive it. Is that the baby? What's the baby name? What's the baby name? 
Huh? Josiah. How many Josiahs we about to have? My God. Open it up. Open up the money. Open up the money. Open it up. Open it up. Thank you, sir. What's your name? Oh, Josiah, you're the baby daddy. Welcome. Welcome. Open it up. Open it up. Thank you. Put it in your hand. Put it in your hand. Thank you. I release it now. Thank you. Let me see the baby. I release it. Bless you. Bless you. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Come on. We thank God for the new baby. Amen. Somebody say, I... I Somebody say, I receive the release now. Say it one more time. I receive the release now. Oh, come on. Release it. Did everybody have a chance to give? Let me go touch Sister Paula's hand she gave. Come on, don't we thank God? Sister Paula's back in the house today. Say it one more time. Glad to have my chair to be back in here. Come on, y'all. We thank God. You know they waste their money with this chair, right? Because it's not going to be here long. I need somebody to give one more praise on that. She said they wasted their money on this chair because she ain't going to be in it too much longer. And we believe God. Hey! Not much longer now. Things are about to shift quickly. Not much longer now. Things are about to shift quickly. Not much longer now. Things are about to shift quickly. Not much longer now. Things are about to shift quickly. Clap your hands, church.